गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई विल टेक योर टेस्ट ऑफ चैप्टर टू ऑन थर्सडे सो बी प्रिपेयर फॉर टेस्ट नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट थ्री बिफोर दिस एक्सरसाइज वी विल स्टार्ट रूल्स टेस्ट फॉर डिविजिबिलिटी ऑफ नंबर्स फर्स्ट इज डिविजिबिलिटी बाय टेन हाउ वी कैन फाइंड द नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाय टेन और नो वी विल यूज यूजिंग दिस रूल्स Uh, we will not to divide only we will uh, use this rule and we will find out if the number is divided by 10 or not the rule is that if a number has zero in the ones place then it, it is divisible by 10 this simple if for example there is given 70 700 and you have to find It's seven hundred is divided by ten or not without dividing. In this number, zero is in ones place. So according to the rule, it is divisible by ten because zero in the ones place. So it is divisible by ten. If there is written six hundred five and you have to find it is divisible by ten or not, so we will uh, uh, see the last number. Ones place number that is five. It is not zero, so it is not divisible by ten. Next is divisible by uh, divisibility by five. Next is divisibility by five. A number which has either zero or five in its ones place, then that number is divisible by five. Now, in this we will take example. If you have to examine that number is divisible by five or not. Then we will check their ones place. If uh, in ones place there is zero or five, then it divided it divisible by five. I am taking example. If I have taken one hundred ninety five and I I have to find that it is divisible by five. So we will check its ones place. Ones place five. So it is divisible by five. If I will take next example, two thousand and you have to check it is divisible by five. Zero. Ones place is zero, so it is divisible by five. Also, according to the rule, there is written two thousand twelve. You have to find it is divisible by five or not. Last is it is two. Two is not coming in ones place according to rule, so this is not divisible by five. Next is by two. A number is divisible by two if it has any of the digit zero, two, four, six, eight in its ones place. In this uh, rule, if in the number in ones place there is zero or two or four or six or eight, then the complete number is divisible by two. Number is given three thousand nine hundred eighteen. You have to check it is divisible by two or not. So we will check its ones place. In ones place, eight is coming, so it is divisible by two. I will take another example. If there is written four thousand two hundred forty, ones place is zero, it is coming, so it is divisible by two also. So uh, this type of example we will take. Now next is by three. If the sum of the digits Is a multiple of three, then the number is divisible by three. According to the rule, if a uh, number is given seven three one two, and you have to check it is divisible by three or not, so you have to add these all digits. We will add seven plus three plus one plus two, so it will be thirteen. If the sum is multiple of three, it means if this sum is divisible by three, then this complete number will be divisible by three. But thirteen is not coming in table of three, so this number is not divide divisible by three. Now I will take another example. Forty-five hundred. You have to check it is divided by three or divisible by three or not. So we will add all digits. Again, sum will be nine, and nine is divisible by three. Nine is the multiple of three, 
so it means 4500 is also divisible by 3 fifth rule is divisible by 6 if a number is divisible by 2 and 3 both then that number is divisible by 6 also there is number 18 and you have to check it is divisible by 6 or not if this number is divisible by 2 and divisible by 3 by both numbers then it is divisible by 6 also now 18 is divisible by 2 18 is divisible by 3 also you, you can use here divisibility test rules of 2 and 3 what is the rule of divisibility 2 if last is it is 0 2 4 6 or 8 then the full number is divisible by 2 now here last is it is 8 so it is divisible by 2 also and what is the rule of divisibility by 3 we will uh, add the digits of the number 1 plus 8 it is 9 and 9 is divisible by 3 so complete number is divisible by 3 also so this number is divisible by, by both numbers so 18 is divisible by 6 also now we will take another example like we am taking here 27 we have to check it is divisible by 6 or no so first we will find by 2 divisibility of 2 is saying that last one's place should be 0 2 4 6 8 but there is 7 so it is not divisible by 2 it is divisible by 3 all when we will add this number 2 plus 7 9 and 9 is divisible by 3 it is divisible by 3 so it will be divisible by 6 or not it will be not because this number should be divisible by both 2 and 3 but it is divisible by only 3 so it is not divisible by 6 now next is by 4 if last two digits of a number is divisible by 4 then complete number is divisible by 4 like I am taking example 4 6 1 6 you have to check it is divisible by 4 so we will take last two digit of this number that is 16 if 16 is divisible by 4 completely then this number divisible by 4 I'm taking another example you have to check this number is divisible by 4 so I'm taking again last two digit that is 0 3 it is not divisible by 4 so this number is not divisible by 4 next seventh is by 8 in this if last three digits of a number is divisible by 8 then that complete number is divisible by 8 like I'm taking 3 2 1 6 8 now I'm taking last three numbers 1 6 8 now I will check it is divisible by 8 Yes, it is divisible by 8. 8 to the 16, 8 1 to 8. It is divisible by 8. So, this complete number is divisible by 8. 8 is by 9. In this rule, if the sum of the digits of a number is divisible by 9, then that number is also divisible by 9. Let's say, I am taking sample. You have to check it is divisible by 9. So we will add these all digits. 4 plus 6 plus 0 plus 8. It will be 18. And 18 is divisible by 9. We will check. Yes, it is divisible by 9. 18 will come in table of 9. 9 to the 18. So it means this complete number is divisible by 9. It is the same rule of divisible of 3. Now next last rule is divisibility by 11 in this question we will use odd or even method this is first number second number third number this is i'm uh, writing for, for uh, telling you one first second third fourth fifth now we will give odd and even numbers one number is odd Second is even, third is odd, fourth is even, 
fifth is odd. So this sequence will continue. Odd, even, odd, even, odd. Why odd will come on first number? Because that is first place. One, one, first place. The one is odd number. So odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. That sequence will be continued. Now, how we will check that it is divisible by 11 or not? Sum of odd numbers. <clears throat> First odd number is 6. Next is 8. You have to write the uh, value of odd numbers. Next is 9. Now we will add these. It will be 23. Now, sum of even numbers 1 and 0. It will be 1. Now, we will find difference between sum of odd and even numbers. That is 23 minus 1, 22. If the difference is div difference is divisible by 11 or if difference is 0, then this complete number will be divisible by 11. Now, 22 is divisible by 11. So, this complete number is divisible by 11. If instead of 22, there will be 0, then also this number is divisible by 11. 